what's what's more interesting for you guys, the character drama of it or the fight scenes and the battle sequences with the aliens? Ooh, I'm loving like the action design. I think they complement each other. I like them both. This is a good mixture. It might be extensive days uh, that we're shooting some action sequence, and you know, by the third or fourth day, we're, we're, we're complaining because we're out exposed to the elements, and we're all begging to be inside a controlled environment, do you know, an intimate scene in, in, in the bus or indoors at least. So, uh, you know, and then when you do the back intimate scenes, forth. you want to go out. And yeah, exactly. It's like <laughs> not talking. Give me a, you know, give me a clip. The thing about action though is that action takes like you can have a page of action, and it'll take five times as long to shoot as yeah. a page of dialogue. Um, so action can get quite tedious in terms of like a, a scene that- There's no flow. A five minute long dialogue scene can take five, six hours to shoot, four hours to shoot. A, a five minute long action sequence can take three, four nights to shoot. So you, you really start feeling like you're, you fall into this weird sort of surreal world where you feel like you're doing the same thing over and over and over again every night. That opening sequence in the pilot, First season took so three full nights to shoot. Just that might have been a minute. Oh, just the uh, the dark the running. Just the running down the street, things wow. blowing up. Was that the only you tripped and fell into no way? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I got a scar on my hand right here. Well, it had it's a really scene. complicated scene. I mean, there was a lot going on there. Yeah, it was. And when we were going to do the big uh, explosion when they blow up the barricade, I mean, we're right in the middle of it. So all this stuff's going to blow up. I've never done action. And they tell me basically everything that can go wrong just so that you know. So you're already a little amped up. And you have your ear uh, plugs in, and you're like in your own world. And you can't hear anything. Yeah. Once they give you the direction with the ear plugs out, that's it. You better absorb it. You just forget to <laughs> They've wet down the asphalt, and they're gonna call action, and we just gotta run as hard as we can and dive in this thing. So I'm ready, I'm on Mark, and Noah's behind me, and the camera guy's behind him, and they call action. I take off as hard as I can, and I slip, and I fall down. And Noah falls on me, Camera guy falls on him, and everybody's like, don't blow it, don't blow it. Because if they blow this thing up, it's going to take an hour to set the thing back up. So it all went down. So. But I think we've all been bruised and battered or cut or, you know, I got I got two nice little falling sky scars cut? right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it took eight stitches to seal that paper cut, but uh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm so, actually, that was me. What? Wasn't that my rifle that... So you guys um, have some very chewy dialogues, really good lines in the show. What's been your favorite line that you've either said or someone else has said in the course of shooting so far? Twenty Mike yeah. Mike Armor Piercing Sever. Oh yeah. Peter. <laughs> it's, it's a season. It's a good question. I have meaty dialogue. I have line here and I have a line there. There's so much in it. Line here, yeah. I know. And you got to bring you got to sell that line. the intensity. <laughs> so I can't answer that question. These guys. Jesus. I see. You got memorably, to memorably, I would say in my line of when Dad walks in on me and Karen, he says, "Get a room," and I say. <laughs> I can't, so I can't, I can't think of any Pope stuff. My first thing came my head was, was your line, Sarah, when you blew those two guys away and said, you know, the other one brought chocolate. I thought he was better, but he wasn't. And just, uh, yeah, that was awesome. So I, don't, I think of other people's lines, not even not, not yeah. such like that. Who's your favorite character? You cannot pick your own. <laughs> Dale die. <laughs> or not order. Sure. I probably play. I think I play yours. Well, yeah. I like it. It's the Clint Eastwood, quiet brooding. You know, I like it. I don't like that stuff. I play Weaver. <laughs> <laughs> It's also, I think, the first season, you're just so focused on the work. Yeah. 
you know, we've all gotten these wonderful parts with these wonderful scripts, and you just, every ounce of energy goes into that. Nobody's throwing paper balls around, and I think we're still sort of new that way. I think after maybe eight years of VR, eight years of Falling Skies, we'll, we'll have some great practical <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but, uh, but right now, I think things are kind of contained. But it's good. But this guy's a ham. You know, I call him Ham Cunning. I'm coming to Ham. ham. On, on set, he's, 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 he's the consummate entertainer, not only like, you know, he's a brilliant actor. On set, he's a an illusion? What do you call it? A mentalism. Mentalism and magic. He's great. Magic, magic and illusion. Talk really good. And no. uh yeah, we yeah. 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 We're okay. <laughs> and he plays um I'll bring my little pipe. Yeah, so I got a little a piece of toilet plays. plastic pipe off and sounds like a saxophone putting up the set every time. I was gonna ask, what do you guys do to keep yourselves entertained while just waiting to shoot? Because there's not a whole lot to do around here from what I hear. I mean, well not that there's just downtime, you have to keep yourselves entertained. We all place bets on how much Noah Wiley's making. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, <laughs> uh, we, uh, we just want to make sure you guys need to do Chris. Yeah. 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 We, um, we, most, we of read. Us, read. most of us, it's what we do, we read. We watch the Woody Allen movies. Are just like the script, or do you actually have like entertainment? Or? No, we don't read the script, we just kind of say it. But, <laughs> we, 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 have, we have books, we, some of us play like chess and games like that, and we have a, um, it's amazing actually, but I can't think of much of what we do, we talk, we do. What's your story I think when you start this, I remember thinking, oh wow, you got all that time, I'm going to learn another language, I'm going to read, you know, Herman Melville, I'm going to, whatever, a lot of times you just don't, you got to go to the craft service. And you go over to the monitor, and I go, hey, Drew, what's going on? I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. And I'm going over to Drew's, you know. You just kind of, there's a bit of wandering that goes on with the time, I feel the time. Because it's just, it's, I don't know, I find it hard to focus on anything else really when I'm on set. And I don't like getting distracted by yeah. doing something else. Yeah. But it is also an interesting set. I mean, uh, you know, if it was a soap or something, you could go back to our rooms. But there's there's always something going on. If they're, they're blowing something yeah, up. Yeah, that's or, true. Yeah. It's hard to go back to your trailer. Yeah, in, in every it's location. Well, the ball is going to head off. Who is the most funny or the one that's making more guilt doing things? Will Patton. Episode that I did, so I have that saved. Oh, but uh, but okay. I don't know you guys. No, no, no one else got notes. No one else got notes. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little notes. It's you know, Kyle and do this. I'll show up on set and they'll like say, all right, we're gonna rework this scene because last night uh, we heard that we want to do it this way. It's from Mr. Spielberg. That's always kind of the Well, you guys got oh, to okay. meet him. I haven't met him. Oh, oh, I another brother. No, not you either. He's on the pilot. Keep the, the pilot, right? Okay. Are you in the pilot? I, I, I was in like 20 seconds of the pilot. Okay. Less than 20 seconds of the pilot. Most of it was on you, actually, anyways. But when we, when we shot that during the series, so yeah. Yeah. he showed up on the, the most humid, hot day that we worked. People were passing out. <coughs> he stayed in the gym with us and ate and ate lunch. And he was incredibly nice guy. That was a great thing because. I know myself, I, I had stalled maybe four or five hours, and people were trying to get me to meet him, but I, I knew that was a, this epic moment in my life, and I, I just wasn't ready. It was like a, like a, like a virgin on the, oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Finally met him, everybody got to meet him, and uh, it, was, it was just epic. Biggest meeting ever. Nicest man. Nicest man, Steven Spielberg. 